and welcome to the start of sister summer today is the second of july so we have decided that obviously megan's gonna do the odd days of the month and i'm gonna do the even days and megan and i are gonna be alternating so every other day one of us is gonna vlog i feel like i talk about this so much but if you don't know what sister summer like men it's basically it's basically that me and megan vlogging for you guys for the whole month of july and i'm really excited so i've been actually awake for like i don't even know how many hours i didn't get any sleep last night i like don't notice when i get coffee at like 7 p.m that that's probably too late of a time to be chugging like a black coffee <laughs> so i think i just was like i don't know i i just i had i also had so much on my mind i just couldn't i couldn't sleep so i didn't get any sleep last night i today am basically i don't know i'm getting like some things done i've had this like large to-do list like i swear for the past week i've had so much stuff that i just feel like i've had to do i, I haven't been doing much of like going out and doing like fun stuff i've been kind of like getting stuff done and like sticking to kind of like a to-do list for my days which is i guess kind of lame but at the same time it's like it makes me feel so good to be productive and get things done other than that i'm watching so you think you can dance right now you can't really tell but i just started because i didn't realize that my tv and my room recorded like the whole the whole season so i'm catching up i have like five episodes to catch up on which i think is yeah 10 hours so i have a lot of stuff you can dance to catch up on anyway i wanted to enter the vlog and we'll see what ends up happening today it's probably gonna be a chill day but hey whatever hello so i am in the car now and i've been actually out for a few hours and i haven't even really had time to update you guys because i've really been in this car i couldn't really like stop and vlog i was just at a red light and oh i'm about to be it's a very short i'm about to be at the same red light today has been eventful but it's been like an annoying an annoying day like you know those days where things just keep like going wrong like i just got two parking tickets last week and i got two parking tickets for the same exact thing again this week like just a couple hours ago and i know that the guy the parking guy came legitimately one minute after my meter was expired and like yeah it's my own fault but it's still really frustrating i actually have been doing some apartment shopping lately because me and megan and also my friend ollie who you guys have met if you keep up with vlogs are um looking for a place it has been such a process and i went today because i was supposed to be putting down um the hold check for this unit that we toured on saturday that was absolutely incredible it's legitimately my dream apartment um but it, the process was not as easy as the lady on saturday made it seem it's a very hard unit to even like get accepted for i just i don't i i don't know if it's the one like i know that we're gonna find the right place megan and i's uh lease has been up for a little while now and we've kind of been like extending it a little bit but i do not want to live at our apartment anymore i get over places it's been a year and i want to move somewhere i want to move somewhere that i could be having more space and having a nicer a nicer place like it's just time to upgrade basically we've all been looking at places together so i'm pretty upset because today everything was going wrong but i was like but it's okay because it's a great day because I'm getting my apartment. All I have to do is take this check to hold the unit. And that's not what ended up working out at all. They're very, very, very picky about who they're even letting apply for this building. I'm driving home now. I'm going to be in traffic for the next like 40 minutes. So that'll be great. Sorry the vlog has not been me doing anything exciting today. It is just not. It is not like an exciting day in my life at all. I'm going to go. I just took little squirty man out on a walk. And it's been a few hours since i talked to you and i worked oh <laughs> she's screaming something i don't know what she's saying um i worked out so these are some new workout clothes that i have they're from free people movement online and they're actually so comfortable i'm actually doing a haul on some workout clothes and other stuff probably gonna film it'll be my next video so tomorrow or something so that's pretty much it's pretty much been the day I was earlier I was cleaning out stuff under my bed so I have like this trash can here and then I've been like going through my textbooks because I'm gonna sell a bunch of my textbooks that I don't need anymore from school because I legitimately have like 30 something I think maybe no I probably have 20 something but I have way too many he loves this blanket so much I'm getting a spray tan at 9 15 
which is in like two hours. So I have like an hour to chill and then I'm gonna shower and exfoliate myself and then I'm gonna go get my spray tan and then I'm gonna sleep because I still haven't slept in like, I didn't, you know, like the whole day I didn't take a nap and then I didn't get any sleep last night. So I'm like, I, I don't know how I'm functioning right now, honestly. How's it going? Squirtle. And you. So I just left my little spray tan place. You can't really see the sign though. Sorry, my windshield's dirty. Um, sorry, excuse the tunes. But it's called Queen Bee and it looks a little bit sketchy, but on the inside, oh my God, it is incredible. I look super shiny because of this car lighting and because I have a tanned face that's drying, but I absolutely love this place. They give you a nice natural color here at Queen Bee. It is in Culver City. I would highly recommend it. If you guys live around LA, definitely. Like, it's it's like one of the high, most highly rated um, places for airbrush tanning because you have to get nude and they like tan you and stuff. You don't go in a booth. I think it's great. It's a great experience. They do it really quickly, honestly, and it works better for me than getting sprayed in a booth. And now a bunch of cars are just passing by but i'm gonna just head back to the apartment now i think i'm gonna watch so you think you can dance and just like pass out because i'm so exhausted hang out with squirtle you just have those days sometimes it was one of those days i was actually planning you know the sad part is i was planning on calling this vlog like my new home my new apartment like we're moving something about moving because because i was so positive that i was gonna get to go to the apartment and put the hold deposit down and get to look at the apartment and show it to you guys and now i have to like get that image out of my head, but I'm just trying to tell myself that whatever is meant to be will be. I'm just sad, but it's an apartment. This is about to be my sanctuary after a long day. <laughs> I actually bought this candle at the tanning salon, which is kind of random. I was waiting and waiting to check out and I saw this candle called Milk. Um, the brand is K Hall Designs and it smells incredible. But yeah, I got that going. I got my lights. I'm gonna watch So You Think You Can Dance. Hang out with Squirt, who's hanging out in my dirty laundry. He is insane. He's insane. I also, you know, you gotta have snacks. I have mochi ice cream chocolate. If you guys have never tried this, it is so interesting. I tried it for the first time in Bahamas. And then also, these are the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And Ollie, I can't believe you introduced me to these because I'm never going to stop buying them. I'm almost done with the bag, honestly, and I bought it yesterday and there's supposed to be like five servings. So, you know, what can you do? This might sound really lame, but I just read my little sign. It's kind of hard to read because the flickering candle is the only light in my entire room on right now. But it says, every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. Stay happy. And one of you guys made me that sign. I have a ton of stuff in my room from you guys. And that's one of them. Every day isn't going to be incredible. But there's literally no... This is what I was thinking today when I was like... Just I was it was right after I got my parking ticket and I was like rushing around and then somebody almost like hit me when I was like pulling into the gas station. It was absolutely terrifying. I was having I'm about to have like a mental breakdown in my car. <laughs> just I don't know things things piling up. I think I told you guys I've just had so much on my mind the past uh, few like days weeks and I feel really oily by the way. Um, sorry for the flickering. Put green candlelight. Hopefully it's not that bad. I was just I was listening to bass nectar in my car, honestly, and I was like, bass nectar always makes my mood turn around. Like like listening to my favorite music. So I was listening to him in my car and I was like, what's the point in me like being upset about something that I like can't really control? What's the point of me, you know, like letting stupid things ruin my day? So um, I don't let that happen a lot. I don't know what the point of me even talking is right now. This is turned into like this a very odd vlog. Um, I think I'm gonna turn the camera off because <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm gonna sleep for like 10 hours probably. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. And I'm gonna go to sleep because I haven't slept in like 40 something hours, I don't think. <laughs> okay, good night.